and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. I'm still reserved. I'm Radar. And tonight we will be trying the Johnny Appleseed. It is 5.5% alcohol per volume. It's a relatively new cider. At least for here in the state of Kentucky it is. Yeah, we just this just recently became available in Kentucky. But I brought this back from Virginia because fuck it. Have you guys noticed how saturated the market is with ciders lately? Uh, no, because I don't buy ciders. Well, I mean, if you don't live under a rock, then you realize how many ciders have been coming out recently. There's a lot. Yeah. I just don't really look at them when I go to the store. I mean, let's let's talk about a few years ago. The only ciders that were available were, what, Woodchuck, Woodchuck and maybe at Hornsby was relatively new. And Angry Orchard. But it wasn't as well known. So, I mean, yeah, they're popping up left and right. There's a lot of... There's another ones. one my sister used to drink all the time. There's a lot of terrible ones out here, too. There are a lot of terrible ones. Like, Mike's Hard... I'm going to say that on every fucking video. <laughs> they are so gross. Uh, it's so gross for a cider. We're just drinking out of bourbon glasses because we can. All right. Now this is... Typical cider color. Carbonated. It smells pretty fermented. Yeah. Not a lot yeah. of apple smell there, honestly. It's aptly enough for me. Why don't we have a taste of the apple? Well, it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot more sour than most sours I've had before. Yeah. It's not almost sweet. like candy. It's not that sweet. It's almost, like, it's almost like that sour candy that's not incredibly sour anymore. It or doesn't. Has, yeah. Um, it's not really artificial tasting. It's got a nice sourness to it. I like the sourness to it. Oh, this is actually pretty good. Um, however, yeah. it looks pretty carbonated, but I'm not getting a lot of carbonation in the, the palate. You know what I mean? Mm, I, I agree with you. But it actually, it's kind of flat on the palate. I still would rather have woodchuck. Um, I'd rather have Smith and Forge. The Smith and Forge was pretty excellent. Oh yes. This is a, no, it's not. This is not bad. Uh, these are ten dollars for a six pack. Uh, I bought the. We bought a six. We're cheap and we're sharing. That's why. Who would you rate this deal? Um, it's actually pretty good. I enjoyed the sourness of it. I will give this a seven point five. I'm gonna go with. Mm, you okay. That last sip made me like it slightly more. I'm gonna give it a. Uh, I'm gonna go get bump it up to seven. I was gonna go with six point five. I'm gonna give it seven. I like the tartness to it. I like the sourness. Um, there's not a lot of apple flavor there, and there's not a lot of fermented taste there. But the sourness is a nice change from a lot of the other ciders we've yeah. had before, and it's not overly sweet like some ciders. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think a seven. What do you think, Radar? I'm also gonna give it a seven. I was gonna give it a six and a half too, but I'm gonna give it a six and a half too. But. Every, because I would rather have woodchuck than this, but it's way cheaper than woodchuck. Mm, woodchuck's about a dollar more. Uh, that dollar is important to me. Sure. <laughs> but uh, it, it's important. not bad. Johnny Appleseed is not a bad buy. I'm, I'm proud of you, Steele. Very proud. Yeah. <laughs> All right, if there's something you'd like to see on our channel, you can leave a comment down below. I'm Special K. I'm Steel Reserve. And I'm Radar.